All new at six, the trouble with craft beer. Following a surge in new craft breweries, many of them are now closing. An industry that exploded over much of the last 20 years is finding that staying in business can be just as hard as getting started. And tonight, 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on why that is the case. Monday Night Brewing went from a home brew among friends 12 years ago to a well-established commercial brewery with two Atlanta locations. It can be pretty exhausting to try to keep up with the latest trend, um, you know, continuing to grow and expand. Jeff Heck's place was part of the craft beer surge over the last 20 plus years, canning beer like Taco Tuesday Lager. But of late, he's seen other Atlanta craft brewers quietly close their doors. Our cash flow, hire more people. We visited Atlanta's Orpheus Brewery in 2015. It shut its doors this spring. People have been taking selfies next to this. We visited Kennesaw's Burnt Hickory Brewery a few months later. It closed its tap room last month. And Atlanta Brewing Company closed its longtime brewery weeks ago. There has been industry-wide, um, you know, a bit of a, um, a slowdown in crafts market share growth as well. So that's definitely happened, and um, we've seen the impact of it. Heck says demand for craft beer has stopped surging. Prices have risen for supplies and labor. And he says the industry has matured. Monday night has opened new tap rooms to serve drinks, but most of them out of state. Georgia's state law still restricts how much retail beer customers can take out and requires tap rooms to also make the beer on site. And the equipment to do that is incredibly expensive. So it's part of the reason why we've opened tap rooms in North Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama, where you know those restrictions mean it's, it's, it's easier to, to open a new location. Yet despite the demise of some brewers, Heck says Monday night is on track to have its richest year ever. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. In Northwest Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.